Great questions. You got another one to throw at me? I do, I do. Um, okay, so friends. When I'm talking with friends or acquaintances and the subject of my business comes up and they want my help, I automatically think they want it for free and that is why they are friendly or friends with me so that they can get that from me, like using me. Okay. <clears throat> and that's from a past experience, but it's like, please there. Okay. So as soon as a friend approaches you in that way, what's the first thought, the first emotion that gets triggered? Can you tell what emotion gets triggered? It's like disappointment. Okay. So there's a belief of they just want to use me. Um, yeah. So I would use the belief tree process on that. Okay. Right? Yeah. It's like they want my skills for free. Yeah. yeah. And there might be a belief of everybody wants a piece of me. So when you start working through the layers, you'll probably notice that that's a pattern that shows up maybe in multiple parts of your life in the past. Um, yes. And once you clear that, once you release that, then they will no longer trigger you when they approach you like that. Okay. Right. Okay. Because you can't be triggered into something that you're not carrying. Right. So somebody who's got a lot of emotions of not good enough, if you just say one tiny thing, then it might totally set them off into this world of not good enoughness and, and negative emotion. But like, mm -hmm. if you walk up to the rock and say, Hey rock, you suck. Right. Do you <laughs> really think that he's going to just dive, dive into the not good enoughness? No. Yeah. And it's because like, when we carry those negative emotions, we are more easily triggered into that. Somebody who's got anger issues, it's because, no, it's not because they have anger in their DNA. It's just because they have a big bucket of emotional baggage filled with anger, right? Mm -hmm. So for you, once you clear that emotion of disappointment or whatever might be underneath that layer, mm -hmm. then those people won't be triggering you into those emotional states anymore. Okay. All right, good. I'm going to have some homework to do after this. I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I mean, this is the stuff, you know, if somebody were to ask me, you know, if I want to be really successful at law of attraction, you know, what's the number one piece of advice? And the number one piece of advice is doing that inner work. It's identifying those things you're carrying in your attraction point, the negative emotions, the false perspectives, and then working your way out of them. Because your physical reality will always be a direct reflection of what you're carrying inside of you. So if you're always carrying not good enough, your relationships will reflect that back to you. You will work well. All aspects of your life are always reflecting back to you what you're putting out vibrationally. So clearing this stuff, and the reason we put so much focus lately in the collective on the belief tree process and the freedom formula is because these are the processes that when you apply them, you literally release these things and you literally change your physical reality experience.